The Dove State Ministry of Arts, Culture, Tourism and Diaspora Affairs recently organized the stakeholders' engagement focused on the theme Rekindly Our Cultural Nexus, its socioeconomic impact in Edo State. The event, held at the Festive Hall Government House, brought together media executives, film directors, producers, musical artists and other hospitality industry stakeholders. Presenting the Governor of Edo State, Commissioner for Budget and Economic Planning, Usilama Okufo, highlighted the government's significant investment over the past seven and a half years in developing the tourism sector. Over the past eight years, many of you have worked closely with His Excellency, contributing various capacities to refine governance in our dear state. At the core of our collective efforts under the Bega agenda, our vision is a cultural realism that reflects the essence of who we are as a people. This vision aligns perfectly with today's stakeholders' engagement, which is themed within the our cultural nexus. Your presence here today is a testament to our shared passion and commitment to restore and preserve our cultural values, which over time have been eroded by both external forces and internal elements. For millennia, the Edo people have been custodians of a parallel heritage. This legacy, nurtured by men and women of immense strength, value of creativity and industry, was not be allowed to fade into obscurity. Keynote addresses were delivered by Ikechi Uko, CEO of Travels Quarterly Nigeria, and Professor Don Pedro Baseki, CEO of ACC Broadcast Multimedia Limited. We have a history as rich as Egypt. 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 How are we getting the money from the tourists? If there is no trekking and remote, let us go hiking. There's a generation that has arrived. They like to hike. There's a hiking epidemic going on, going on in Nigeria. It's a whole lot of money. A lot of people, weekends. You have hundreds of thousands of Nigerians, Jaws, Abuja, Enu, everywhere. You need to be able to tap into this market. The modes are there. High the modes. High the modes. Build one, not go and chop small. Build modes. Part of what I'm doing for the new states is that I'm It took for the number to celebrate the first global star of the world, 
was made. Yes. The person that came at my piano to make it even a dome. I went to that boy name. I don't even remember that name. Three years, four years ago. Not just go. Amen. Okay, baby. You can't say that. And she made that one. 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 That was what they were using in recruiting policemen in Detroit. Myself and the last of the Dubai Muslim, who were in New York about seven or eight years ago, and when you get to the biggest art center in the world, it's called the Smithsonian in DC, we saw a huge room, Africa art. And we entered the room, there was no single artifact from Benin. And I was upset. And then the director, his name is George Faisal, said, Pedro is in the next room. The next room was Benin art. Hold on. That is why European art was in one hall, African art in one hall, only Benin art was dedicated to one hall. As a state government, we have been able to put in place the right, um, you know, um, fiber optics connectivity around the 18 state, um, local governments in uh, those states. We have also been able to invest in independent power in the state. And also, we have been able to build our security network so much so that Edo is now recognized as one of their sub-nationals, the first sub-national to have a command and control center. That is significant. We haven't stopped there. We have also ensured that we work towards repositioning Edo as the, one of the most safe cities in Nigeria. We have done all of this to encourage people to come in. We have built infrastructure. We've created policies to drive it. But there has to be that deliberate and intentional alignment between the private and the public uh, space for us to be able to take Edo to the next level. There is this, uh, there's this cave. You know, it's amazing. You won't believe that a place like that exists. Apart from the cave, there's a tree there that is over a thousand years old, you know, that preceded the people of Fuga landing in that place, you know. And then it was also breathtaking you know, scenery that you would think that you are not in this country. And the cloud is almost close to the mountains. You see it together with, you know, um, how do I put it? It's such a breathtaking thing, uh, scenery where people can go take pictures and really see nature at its best. These are things that we need to be deliberate about. We need to sell, you know, the culture, the language, the rich heritage, the food and, and the like. These are things that we need to be deliberate about. The event also featured a panel discussion with hospitality stakeholders, followed by a vote of thanks from the permanent secretary of the ministry, who appreciated the presence of all attendees. Social media and streaming platforms like Spotify, Audio Mac, how are they shaping the careers of a new state artist? For you to be heard, you have to go the extra and have good marketers. But social media among you,
of the Edo culture. There's no way to not attract, you know, uh, uh, people from other uh, uh, cultural heritage. You know. So I, I think uh, what we have is so so unique. And <laughs> what you don't have, and you see it nice on the other person, there's no way you don't want to see that. And, and, you know. So that is one thing that is drawing people. It's not to go into too much rhetoric or long speeches, but to thank us all. I'll start first by thanking the Almighty Creator, the Sanjayas and the Sanjuwa, that made to be possible. It's been a great, uh, I'll say a great, let's say a few hours, and a wonderful time. The session has been great. Um, I actually want to especially thank our keynote speaker he was here earlier. He was here also with us. We had to rush him to catch a flight. We had been telling us that it was off to go to the He's a tourism expert. We had the director general of uh, the, the president of the director's guild of Nigeria. Thank you, sir, for honoring us with your presence. We had uh, a, a lot of stakeholders in the room. Remember, one of our greatest, Sir Victor Waifu. Present here today, replicated by his family member, Peter Waifu. Thank you for your time. I also want to thank the entertainers that have been here with us. Etika is one of us. Thank you for your straight to the hand talk. We also have the influencer Kaba. Himself and his father continue to remain one of the legends of our time. Thank you, Mr. Influence, for honoring us with your presence. I want to use this opportunity to thank His Excellency, one of our past governors, Governor uh, Lucky uh, Ibinidion, for his support for all that we are doing in the state. So I want to thank Yana Entertainment for that wonderful presentation that we have with us. Uh, we also want to thank Anthony and Sophia Miyoha. Many of them flew all the way from out of the country because they are from here. They have their home in Kakmont also steeped in the land. To make sure that this was Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Irene Ejoba, PFM TV News.